Hey, welcome back to another Premiere Pro video. So I was thinking like, how, how are we gonna go from blue to green? So what I've done basically is did a color map, blue and green. And then I sort of like put in these little things cause this is gonna like indicate where the transition might be. And what I wanted to do actually is do an image map. This is something that used to be available in older versions. I think it was in Premiere Elements. Uh, you used to just be able to drag a transition, you could put an image in there. Um, what is left? Well. Basically, in the obsolete section, you'll find the image map key. So let's put it in this first one here. You can see basically you can composite in alpha and luma channels, and you've also got uh, the ability to add your image here. So it's a similar, it's not too different from what it was before. All right, so I've chosen this, this one in the image map. And so you can see we've got, uh, so there are your options. Luma normally works better for this, and you can also reverse it. All right, let's do the same for the little uh, section we've got on green. Make sure it's on the loom up. Um, so we just put cross resolves in there. Let's see what happens. This is actually uh, a little bit easier to put them in. They changed that a little bit than it used to be. You could maybe do something like that, right? I wonder if we could do a, re a reverse keyframe on it. Like on this clip, right? Um, well, it's not actually on this clip. I wonder, is there any way to... Yeah, you can you see, I can actually uh, shift click and get it right there. So for instance, if I change the scale at this point, and then did a shift click on the other side. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, yeah, that is locking. You basically, if you drag it from the right-hand side like this, and then you hold down Shift, it does, it does actually, it does lock that. Um, it does appear at the, the correct spot. All right, so let's just actually swap those two around. So we'll just do this with that. Quite a simple way to do it. I wonder if that will actually snap properly. Yeah. Basically, as long as the timeline is flat, you see that's not quite on it. Okay. So you see, that's how you do it, right? So we'll, so we'll snap it correctly here. Okay, so what what is the uh, another way that we can improve this, right? Uh, probably the, the next way to improve it is actually to make this even smaller. So here the scale is 100, we're gonna actually make the scale zero. Okay. And then what that means is that on the next clip, again, we're gonna look at that spot where, um, see if we can, okay. So scale here, zero. And then scale here is full. That's one way you could do the transition. Let's take a look. 